Thomas the Tank Engine works on his flash with Percy, Toby, and Daisy. Every day, Thomas is busy pulling and pushing trains up and down the line. Sometimes, when he's having trouble, he can always count on his friends to help. One cold December morning, Thomas was waiting at Tidmouth Sheds of his best friend Percy. Sir Tottenham Hatt came to see them. Thomas and Percy, today you are to help Toby at the quarry. When you have gotten the train ready, Percy will take the train away to Brendam Docks. The ship is to leave at sundown, so you mustn't be late. Yes, sir, said the two engines. And Thomas raced out of the sheds, leaving Percy behind. Thomas, be careful, he cried. But Thomas was too far away to hear. By the time Thomas and Percy arrived at the quarry, Toby was having a hard time shunting the trucks due to a small water tank. You're late, he puffed. I'm sorry, Toby. Percy almost got hit by a lorry on the way. He was being careless, Thomas said. Secretly, Percy was cross, but not for long. Soon, Thomas and Percy went to work with Toby. Mavis was coming back from the diesel works with some quarry supplies, and the quarry needed to be in shape before she got back. Down the quarry line, there were some loaded trucks that needed to be taken to the harbor at the end of Thomas's branch line. The foreman asked Thomas to take the trucks and told Percy to continue shunting with Toby, and they were told not to blow their whistles. Thomas was taking great care when backing up to the trucks. He was trying to be very careful. Percy was busy shunting trucks as well. He shunted them into a siding, but he didn't know that Toby was in the siding and was blocked by Percy's trucks. Toby had just filled up his water, and he had to waste all that water he drank. Percy! he called. But Percy didn't hear Toby. Toby shunted the heavy trucks to get past. But he didn't watch where he was going, and he was going down the section where Thomas was collecting his trucks. Thomas had just backed up, but he saw that Toby was going to hit a rock on the lawn, and Thomas quickly blew his whistle and forgot all about what the foreman had said. Then it happened. A rock slide occurred, and Thomas and Toby quickly raced away to avoid the rock slide and got out just in time. By the time they got out, Mavis had come back to the quarry and was shocked to see it in a terrible mess, and to make matters worse, Percy came in and was surprised to see what had happened. He had bought the foreman with him, and he was furious. You two have caused a great deal of trouble here, and have not been taking care. And now look what's happened. Mavis will need some extra help now to clean this mess up. Thomas and Toby were cross of each other. This is your fault, Toby, Thomas said. What do you mean? You blew your whistle, Toby snapped. Yes, but you didn't watch where you were going, Thomas replied. Don't blame me, blame Percy. He shoved the trucks into a siding when I was taking a drink. I don't have that big of a water tank, you know. Oh, so now you're bringing Percy into this? Good thing, too, since he wasn't taking care earlier, almost hitting that lorry at the crossing. This was getting out of hand, and Percy could see that this was getting nowhere. I guess we're not friends anymore because of this, right? Yes, that's right, because I have better friends and I can take better care and can listen carefully unlike you. Percy was getting upset because of this, and he raced out of the quarry to avoid Thomas and Toby's arguing. That night, all the engines went to sleep, except for Percy. He couldn't sleep at all. He didn't have a best friend anymore, and he knew that he was on his own with only his driver and fireman for company from now on. He was beginning to think that things were going to change from now on. But that's another story.